I'm Whitney Dermick. This is Oracle for Startups. And today I am joined by Darshana Jain, the CEO of Snapper Future Tech. Thank you for being here, Darshana. Thank you so much for having me, Whitney. Tell me a little bit about Snapper Future Tech. What does your startup do and for whom? So Snapper Future Tech is actually focused on um, everything blockchain. So we do blockchain development, uh, we do blockchain training, and we also create blockchain products of our own. Um, of course, uh, we're focused on Hyperledger and Ethereum, both of these as technologies, because that's the majority of the market share in blockchain. But um, that's what we do. That's what uh, Snapper Future Tech does. So many people might hear blockchain and think instantly cryptocurrency, but there are so many emerging use cases for blockchain in business. Can you tell us a few of the most popular use cases that you work with? So we're doing some really interesting stuff in the enterprise uh, use case area. There is, uh, of course, track and trace is, I think, one of the most common use cases that is there uh, for blockchain. Uh, but but in that, some of the fun stuff that we're doing is, um, you know, sustainable uh, supply chain. Hmm. So like uh, lithium ion battery recycling or plastic recycling, um, you know, so the traceability for the plastic, whether it's come from the ocean or it's come from the recycling from our homes. The other one that, that we are already in production with is the credential verification platform. And while that is a very common, I think one of the most initial use cases that came out for blockchain, uh, for academic, uh, like universities and degrees to go on blockchain uh, to avoid fraud. But the same concept, the same uh, theory of document verification, it could be credential or any other corporate document documentation, right? So there's a lot of use cases in that we found, um, you know, in government. Mm -hmm. So citizen services like birth certificate, death certificate, business licenses, all of that can go on this platform. I think that one of the most important phrases that's coming up with blockchain, especially in government and academia, is this idea of trust. So can you talk a little bit more about how, uh, especially now that so many workforces are working from home and business and academia and government are literally distributed, how blockchain can help restore trust? I think that is the very basic premise of blockchain, right? Every single customer that we talk to, or even within ourselves, when we are uh, when we're designing a solution, the first question always is why blockchain, right? Why cannot a conventional technology do what we are touting for blockchain to be able to do? So I think what blockchain does, and especially in the post-COVID world where everything is digital, you have to be able to trust the network you're getting on, right? You have to be able to trust the identity. You have to be able to trust who you're transacting with. Right? And how do you do that? So if you know that the document source where it's originating from is authenticated and there can be no mutation, it cannot be changed and that you can trust it, right? So you would transact uh, freely. You would exchange documentation freely. So for all of these ecosystems, uh, let's look at a supply chain, right? You're, you're dealing with not just the internal, but external vendors, your distributors, and you're actually transferring so much information outside and consuming so much from the outside within the organization. How do you trust that information? That's what blockchain brings in. That trust between networks and the trust that, that you can trust this data. That's what blockchain brings. Incredible and so important. And your credential verification platform is hosted on Oracle blockchain platform. So what has your experience been like working with the Oracle blockchain platform and the Oracle for Startups program? So I, let me talk to you a little bit about Oracle Startups. And I think that has been a surprise for me. Mm. And I'm saying surprise because, you know, when you think of Oracle, it's this big, large, giant, uh, that's almost inaccessible, opaque, uh, you know, like any large company would be. Uh, but after I met the Oracle Startups team, the kind of effort and the support that our startup has gotten from Oracle has been amazing. It is just, it's been fantastic. And the reason why we actually came to Oracle and, and SnapCert, which is our credential verification platform, is hosted uh, on OBP is one, we found it to be very robust. So we did, we did try a lot of other platforms as well, managed platforms. Uh, but 
the uh, OBP, besides being robust, also provides complete REST APIs. Mm. So the network is managed automatically and it uh, you know leaves companies like ours to focus on writing the business logic. Small companies have to conserve resources. Right. So it's really important. And besides, you know, you know it supports the on-premise and multi-cloud. So with our credential verification platform, we don't have to worry uh, if our client, clients may have nodes on different clouds. So these are some of the things that we found very important with the, the Oracle infrastructure. I love what you mentioned about small companies having to conserve resources. Are there things that you've been able to do or ways that you've been able to scale your business that weren't possible previously? Uh, yes, I, it has. So a couple of things that Oracle have made possible for us is, of course, you all support startups heavily with discounts. Hmm. initially and and that has really helped us you know the first one year when you're actually putting your product into production and going to market to uh, you know get business so that support that you need uh, in terms of of the the pricing especially for a product like Oracle that's been there and we've been able to scale uh, uh, relatively well considering uh, COVID times uh, business has done very well. We were, in fact, able to raise funding um, in the middle of COVID. So we raised our pre-series funding last year in 2020. And uh, that's been really important for us to go to market. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. That's a huge challenge. And especially to achieve that when the world is basically upside down. We love hearing success stories. This year has been amazing for us. Like we started 2021 with a bang. We became Hyperledger certified service providers. Mm -hmm. uh, for a small company like us, it's a big deal because technical, you know, we were going after uh, technology that to be the best that we can in the technology that we're providing. And this endorsement was important for us. And the other big thing that I think for us in 2021 that happened was uh, government of India partnered with us for our credential verification platform, the one that's hosted on Oracle. So government of India is now a partner in our company. So we are hoping to take this uh, nationally. That's great news. Um, do you have any advice for startups who might be considering working with an enterprise partner like Oracle? I think you need to reach out uh, and, and it's amazing the kind of support you get. You need to be able to talk uh, and you, you find the support. I, I was really pleasantly surprised at the kind of uh, help that we've been able to get and the, uh, you know, I think a lot of advice came from Oracle when we were actually going into production. So a lot of technical advice came from Oracle, which was very, very important for us at that time. So I, I would urge startups to reach out and, and take uh, advantage of the entire Oracle partner network that is available, the marketplace that's available to actually go and get business uh, and reach out to your customers. So or Oracle provides that uh, as well. Mm -hmm. And Snapper Future Tech is working with Oracle as an enterprise, working with the government of India. How do you see relationships between these big entities and startups evolving in 2021? So I think this is going to continue because Oracle is such a new space and the kind of innovation that it requires, uh, you know, very dedicated and niche startups like ours can do that. Mm -hmm. Larger companies uh, like Oracle is very clear that we provide infrastructure and that's what we are going to do. And you do uh, what you do best, which is provide the services or the solutions that you're doing. So these kind of partnerships will be very important even going forward with the government. Mm -hmm. So as we are innovating, uh, you know, infrastructure, because government infrastructure is large, the kind of requirement is huge. So companies like Oracle would be providing that and companies like us would then be providing the solution to that. That's the virtual, virtuous cycle of innovation that we talk about so much within Oracle for Startups, that we have big customers and big companies that have the resources and the infrastructure, and then niche startups with these really exciting uh, solutions like Snapper Future Tech can come in and complement them so our enterprise customers get the best of both worlds. Absolutely. So Absolutely. You guys have so much momentum. Where do you see your startup in a year? So that there is a lot going on. We are opening up our Europe offices shortly, actually. Next month, we should be operational in Europe. Um, next stop, America. So we are targeting our geographies based on um, where the governments or the companies are mature enough to start 
uh, actually going into the development implementation for blockchain. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, because we are now far beyond POCs, enterprises are actually going into implementation of the production phases. And that's what we are looking to uh, tap into that market and be able to bring our expertise. You know, there are a lot of companies in the market that, that claim to be blockchain companies. But very few have actually gone with their products into production. So enterprise also needs to look at the companies who've been able to put products into production. Well, Darshana, I am so excited about the future of Snapper Future Tech. Thank you so much for having me with me. If you enjoyed my conversation with Darshana, uh, go ahead and like this video and subscribe to the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure channel so you won't miss the next one. We'll see you then.